aggregate functions don't spill? The solution, by rows and lambda functions. Now this is going to be an advanced array formula video that works in Microsoft 365. Now when you create array formulas in Microsoft 365, you're allowed to select a column and multiply those three values by a single value. Because there's an operator, and on this side there's multiple items, the calculation engine knows to spill the results. Some functions, such as some ifs, this is an aggregate function, but if we put some range, comma, criteria range, comma, and then in criteria, that argument, if we put three values, some ifs is programmed to deliver three values, one for each product. So when I close parentheses and hit Enter, that formula knows to spill. But the problem comes when we use aggregate functions like sum, that argument. It doesn't matter how many values we put in here. The function is programmed to deliver a single aggregate answer. So I would like to put all these values and get the total for each row to spill. But that's not possible with this function. So that is why sometimes we can't make array formulas. We have to highlight the row, close parentheses, Control Enter, and copy it down. Similarly, if we use the median function, which sorts the values and takes the one in the middle and calculates a typical value, a type of average called a median, forget it. We're not going to be able to spill the results. We still have to enter it and copy it down. But that's where lambda comes in. Lambda is a new function in Microsoft 365 that defines a function value. Now, VBA has always been able to define a function. And in M code in Power Query, you can define a function. But now in the Excel worksheet, we can do that. Now lambda, you can use it by itself or define a reusable defined name function. Or lambda can be used in helper functions. And that's where the by rows comes in. So by rows, this function only works with lambda. Now the array. This is what I wanted to do inside the sum or median function. I wanted to highlight all the values and somehow iterate down each row and make a calculation. That's what this function does. So array, comma, and look at the argument. It says function. This is where we use lambda. And lambda is just going to hold the sum function so it knows to iterate down each row and deliver a total. Now, it's kind of clunky the way Microsoft programmed this. But there's our lambda. It says parameter or calculation. And even though we already have the table that we want to iterate row by row over, I need to communicate into lambda that, hey, I want to use that as the variable. So I'm going to define a parameter or a variable. I'm just going to use v for values, comma. And this is where we're going to put our calculation. Remember, we're just using lambda to hold sum. And sum needs to iterate across v. So it's a weird combination. We had to put the array. Then we had to tell lambda with v to look at that. And then, because sum is going to iterate down this, we had to put v. And that's our formula for spilling an aggregate result, close parentheses on lambda, close parentheses on by row, and enter. And of course, this is a spilled array. So all of the cells below the top one are grayed out. The top one is the only one that has the formula. Now for median, I'm just going to double click and put median. And there we go. Now we want to expand on this idea of spilling aggregate results. And this question comes from our pal, Microsoft Excel Recalc or Die. And he wanted to know how to spill median results. Now, what are the advantages to spilling aggregate results? Well, there's basically two. If we do this the old school way, we have to create our formula. 
we have to remember when to lock cell references and when not to lock cell references. Then we have to enter the formula. And of course, we have to copy it down. Then when we want to edit later, we have to come edit, re-enter, copy down. With spilled array formulas, you don't have to worry about locking cell references. You don't have to copy. And editing is always done in a single cell later. Now we're in Microsoft 365. So to get our conditions or criteria, we're going to use the sort function and then the unique function. We'll look at all of these products. Close, close. And when I hit Enter, the results spill. Now for median, we'll use by rows. And we're not going to be looking back to this table here, because we want the median to iterate across these three conditions or criteria. So when I highlight that range, it has the top cell. That's where the formula lives, E7. And the pound, that's the spilled range operator. So that's our table, in essence, that the lambda will go row by row over, comma. The function, this is where we put lambda. Remember, lambda is just holding the median function. We need to get array into lambda. So as a parameter or a variable, I'm going to use CR for criteria, comma. And then here's where we're doing the calculation. So median. And then there's no median if, like there's a sum ifs or count ifs. So we can use the if function. And for the logical test, this is where I look back to the original table. So those are all of the products. How many of you are equal to CR? And CR is this range right here, where each row holds the condition or criteria to pick out the correct values. So this whole column with all the products for each row asks a question. So for the first row, it says, hey, how many of you here are equal to Aspen? Then it can pick out the correct values for this row that get used in median. Then when lambda and by rows brings the median function down to the second row, it gets all the Carlota values. In the third row, it gets all the quad values, comma. If that's true, then we go back and get our original values. Now we close on the if, close on median, close on lambda, close on by rows, and bam, there's our spilled median. I didn't have to lock. I didn't have to copy. And when I want to edit later, I come to the top cell and edit. Now, the other reason that people love spilled array formulas is for single cell complete reports. Now, I've done lots of videos on some pretty crazy single cell reporting. But here, all we want is the product and the median to spill from the top cell. So we use the let function. The let function allows us to define variables and then use those variables throughout the formula. So I'm going to use p for product, comma, v for values. And there's the values, comma. I want to create this product range right here. So product sorted unique, comma, then sort unique. And we're using that variable right there, so p. Close, close. So PSU is going to be the first column of our report, comma. The second column is going to be median values, comma. And this is where we do by rows. And just as we did over here, remember that by rows and lambda had to look at one, two, three rows. So that's our PSU, comma. The function, well, that's lambda. And I'm going to call this criteria, because i got to get that variable into lambda, comma, and then our calculation, median, if. And that variable right there, p, that's the whole product column. Are any of you equal to CR? That's that variable, which is really the first argument of by rows, which is really that sorted unique list, comma. And if that comes out true, then I want the values, which is the original variable there. And that's our formula if we close off a lot of parentheses. So there's the if, median, lambda, by row. Now let's test this. And I actually should have tested that variable and that variable. So comma, this is going to be our final delivered result. So I'll try PSU. All right, so that's working, F2. I can try MV. That's working. 
F2. And now as the final delivered value, I need to mash those two columns together. And you use the lookup function, choose. And the index, normally you have some number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But we want both values simultaneously. In essence, we're looking up the two columns simultaneously. So we use array syntax, the first column. And we have to use a comma. That means go over a column to n curly bracket. Value 1, which will be PSU, comma, value 2 will be MV. And then close on choose, close on let, and bam, there's our single cell report. Every other cell is grayed out, but that top cell holds the entire report. Now I can hear Recalc or Die saying right now, dude, because he used to be a skater and a BMXer just like me. He said, you type that out straight. You got to use Alt-Enter to make the formula easier to read. So right before the P, I'm going to Alt-Enter. And right before PSU, Alt-Enter. I'll put the two initial variables on one line. And then there's our first column. Alt, Enter. And then here's our final result, the Choose, Alt, Enter. And so that's much easier to read. There's the two initial inputs, first column, second column, and then the full report. Now when I hit Enter, what I don't like about it is the formula bar shows us just the first line. But no worries. We can expand and click and drag. All right, so we had a lot of fun with learning how to spill aggregate values. We saw this single cell formula. We saw the much easier, but still totally spilled. There's by rows and lambda, and sort and unique. And then we learned over here when we have an operator and multiple items, or a function has some input that allows multiple items, we can spill the results. But when we're doing sum or median, those functions don't allow spilling. So then we have to get tricky with by rows and lambda. Hey, and in older versions, what do we used to do for totals? We'd use matrix algebra. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.